Welcome back to another edition of my show. It's the uh, after lunch edition, and uh, not really a whole lot going on in the world, man. You know, I mean, there's always a whole lot going on in the world. There ain't a whole lot of this shit that matters. And I had some more thoughts about the whole domestic cohabitation thing, right? You know, I, I touched on being the man of the house, right, and what that means to all of us, you know, or at least a lot of us. You know, looking back, I'd probably been the man of the house for 10, 15 years because my father was really in no fucking capacity to do those things anymore. He just, he wasn't him, you know. I think after Dad died, it, it just reaffirmed what I already knew. That people like us, people like me, you know, that come from where I did, we were not meant to have soft lives. We were not meant for soft things. We were not meant to be happy. We were meant to fuck things up. We were meant to destroy things. We were meant to build things to destroy other things. That's kind of a freeing realization. If you think about it, we got put in this mess a long time ago because a bunch of medium boiled people raised a bunch of soft boiled eggs. And so many soft and weak fucking people run around among us, you know. All they care about is their fucking feelings and everything else. I mean, look at look at our dependents, right? Those depending upon us and our actions. Look at what they do every day. Watch their behavior for a while. You're going to see a bunch of people that are consuming calories and trying to go about their business of replication. A lot of them have no clue what's going on around them. You know, they think that as long as everything's fine, then everything's fine. You know, they think it's okay to do what they do to us. They think it's okay that you know, they can put all that stress on us and uh, kind of drag us down, right? Because we are the rock that life beats itself to death against. We are that strong force that the tide wears itself out against. We have to be. You know, that, that, that's the one thing I think that wears me down more than anything, is listening to a bunch of soft people, you know, demand nice things of me. That's the one thing that fucking really wears me down in life. You know, I'm a middle-aged, self-destructive alcoholic with some anger issues. I ain't got time to guarantee the happiness of others when I don't have hardly any on my own. And I think it's wrong of others to put expectations like that on us. I think it's wrong that they depend on us to make their lives complete. You know, I've touched on the idea that the women in my family are pretty fucking buttercream soft that way. They think that men are put here to do as we're told and to fork over our paychecks so they can have nice fucking things. And I think a lot of us are in the same fucking boat. Do I love my family? Yeah, I do. You know, without dad in the world now, it's just me. And he told me a long time ago, you know, it's like, you watch when I die... You see how the women are going to change. And they're going to try and make you obsolete. They're going to try and make you redundant. Yeah. So far, a lot of that's come true. Yeah. He, he wasn't stupid. you know. Even with dementia, he, he was pretty with it until the very end. Those last six months were pretty rough on him. You know, it was rough on all of us. You know, we're still working through all that shit as a family. But, you know... We don't worry about paycheck to paycheck anymore. We're not at that phase right now. We're not worrying to get through to the first of the month when the paycheck comes. We're worried about March and it's January now. Yeah. 
we're, we're building a better life in this house. I'm sure a lot of us are too out there. It's, it's life's little hosings that get in the way, isn't it? It's that little shit that piles up on you and it builds up inside like a fucking boil full of pus. Just waiting to be popped. And then people run away from the smell it makes or the sound it makes. You know, because they can't handle ugly truth in life. And uh, I think that's kind of where I'm at. But as always, if you don't like it, you can eat my shorts. <laughs>